So there's this one time in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, <laughs> this would have been back in like 2000, fuck, 2004, 2005, something around there. Um, <laughs> I was living with my ex-fiance and uh, living in this apartment complex. And <clears throat> I don't remember the exact reasons, but I think we were arguing or something. And like we had this neighbor that called the cops on us, right? We started arguing. Whatever, right? So anyway, the cops are at the door, um, knocking on the door, right? But they didn't they didn't knock at first. They're like kind of like standing by the window to like see what was going on. And uh, I noticed uh, I could see the shadow of a cop, right? I could see kind of a cop poking through, trying to peek in, you know, see what was going on. And so we just went, we were quiet, right? And uh, fucking, um, I had a, see, I had a warrant for my arrest, right? I had a warrant for my arrest for driving on a suspended license. It was a failure to appear for driving on a suspended license. So it was a warrant, but it was like, you know, it was a warrant that they're not going to come look for you for, right? It's just, you know, if they happen to find you somewhere, they're going to, you know, they're going to take you to jail. So I didn't feel like going to jail that night, right? I remember I had, uh, I was kind of drunk and uh, had some cocaine on me. And see, normally you could just not let the cops in, but because it was a domestic disturbance, right? Uh, they can forcefully enter because they, you know, somebody could be in danger, right? So in that situation, they can enter, right, without a warrant. And so the cops are like, open the door. You know, and my fiance is like, uh, hold on a second. You know, and I'm like, and I, we're on the two story, the second story, right? There's no way out, right? There's a back patio. It's like a balcony, right? And uh, the cop's like, open the door now. You know, and like, he's fucking, he's like, I'm serious, I'm going to kick the door in. And I was like, fuck, you know, and you know, she's, she's trying to stall for me, right? And so I fucking, I was like, I just, you know, I thought to myself, I'm not going to jail tonight, right? Um wasn't wasn't about to wasn't planning on it wasn't prepared for it so i fucking bolted out the back right through the bedroom and onto the back patio right and i tried to lower myself down right because at this point he's like fucking pushing on the door hard like he's he's about to come in and i could hear him i heard the front door open and i'm trying to lower myself down so i didn't have to jump and it was you know it wasn't as dark as at night so it's in the second story and uh i ended up like kind of like slipping a little bit and i ended up falling and like landing like square on my back <laughs> Knocked the fucking wind out of me, like, oh, you know, and I was like, ah, and I'm trying to get up, but, you know, you guys have had the wind knocked out of you before, it's like, you can't really do shit, right, so I'm like, ah, and I'm trying to fucking get up, and I catch my breath, I look up, and there's a cop standing over there with this mag light, and he's shining, he's shining it down on me, this is exactly what he said, he goes, I'm gonna get you, boy, right, I'm gonna get you, boy, and so I took off running, I said, not tonight, and I just took off running, (laughs) And I fucking bolted like he wasn't going to jump. You know, I think they might have came around, but I, there was no way they could get, get me. And, uh, well, he was right. He did get me. Not that night, though. Um, I guess they figured out. I'm sure my fucking dumbass fiance told them where I worked. Somehow they figured out where I worked. I was working at um, AutoZone, right? <laughs> um, and I was fucking there, you know, just AutoZone, fucking selling car parts and shit. All fucking sudden, right? And these fucking cops come, right? And there's two of them, right? And they're coming. I was like, fuck. And I still had some cocaine on me in my wallet, right? So I'm like, fuck, right? So I knew they were coming for me. So I, I didn't, I went to the back of AutoZone. I hid the cocaine like in a box of fucking like brake pads or something, right? <laughs> they whoever found those fucking, whoever bought those brake pads scored. It wasn't a lot of cocaine, but it was like, you know, 40 bucks worth or whatever. But sure, it was unexpected, right? Oh, free cocaine with brake pads. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so sure as shit, you know, I saw them and I just walked out, you know, with my hands up. Of course, they made a big scene about it. You know, they handcuffed me in front of, like, the employees and shit. And it's like, made a big scene. He's like, oh, so you think it's funny to outrun Scottsdale police, do you? Told you I was going to get you. I said, yeah, it took you a couple days, though. And he's like, get up. <laughs> like, fucking walked out and he sat me in the car. And then um, there's another cop. Two other cops came from behind the auto zone, right? And they're sitting there, like, you know, all macho. This is fucking Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Phoenix Arizona cops kind of suck, by the way. At least they did back then. I'm sure they still do. And, uh... You know, they're all talking shit. Like, the two cops were in the back were like, yeah, we were hoping he's going to bolt out the back. I was just going to fucking clothesline his ass, like, fucking WWF style and shit. And I was just like, motherfuckers. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to get you, boy. I'll never forget that. That was some funny fucking shit. Of course, you know, I got I went to jail. was there for, like, I don't know, three or four hours, you know, until I saw the judge and just, like, uh, you know, fucking... You know, promise to pay. And I think I had to put down. I think my, I think my brother bailed me out. I'd pay a hundred bucks or something like that to bail me out. But it was funny though. Yeah, luckily I haven't been in any trouble like that for quite some time. But you know, and it was funny because it's all over stupid shit. It all would start off with like something stupid, like 
driving on a suspended license, you know, failure to appear for that, right? Or failure to pay the fine for that or whatever, right? I think it was failure to pay the fine, something like that. And then it just snowballs, man. And once you get, you know, you can't get out from under that shit, you know, I mean, you can, but it's expensive and, uh, yep. So I'm done with those shenanigans though.